hello everyone welcome back in this video we're gonna see on how to create the testing the load testing or the performance testing using postman i know it, it's pretty cool and easy in the soap ui but a lot of people stop using the soap ui and migrated to the postman which is really helpful and most of the uh, risk calls are easy to handle and test in the in this video I'm going to cover the topics like how to create a collection how to run the test uh, rest API calls and also on how to run the testing like uh, if you have a collection like 5 to 10 rest APIs and <clears throat> with one click you're gonna make a call to all of the restful APIs and get the results so this is really helpful in a uh, environment where you have a lot of services and you can test all at a time with a single button so let's see on how to create a collection and how to run the test cases so i'm going i have the postman here open and um, just create a new collection uh, over here with the button plus jk leo <coughs> services okay and when you create that this is a correction and you can add all the request in it so let's create the first request and the name is so to have a call we need to have an service running so here I have a three services which are free to use you all can also use the services so to get in there you just google it like a and go to the first um, no not really then go to the try this one yeah this is the place where you can find three restful services so how to test this quickly is you can get into the browser and paste it and click enter and press enter then you can see some kind of <clears throat> methods in that so I'm gonna just take this and go to the add request and the name of name of the request is um, service to get and search countries so I'm gonna name it as get countries select this jkleo services test and save to that so here I have this and just paste it here since this is a get request then click on send here I get the response 200 all you care is about this 200 response that is success response code and I have another service over here and select this and create a new request and test this just by clicking send and here I get the <coughs> list of some list of uh, what do you call states so let's try I'm just trying okay never mind so this is success response code 200 I'm going to save this into the jkleo service test folder with a name of with a different name like get states right and save to this folder so in this folder we have two requests in this collection and let's try the other one try to avoid spaces before and after the link and this is a get request too so just click on send and I got a 200 success right and I'm gonna save this into the collection which I have created earlier with the name of um, what is this this is location by IP address get IP okay some service I'm just trying to show you the demo so we have three collections so when when your project or your services went in live and suddenly someone calls you and says hey some of the services are not working then how you 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 can't get into each service and uh, send and test it so right this is gonna be a lot of work if we have right now we have just three services so it's quite easy we get into each service and test it gonna be like less than a minute or 30 seconds but what if if you have a 50 request and it takes a lot of time for you to know which services are failing so at this point I'll show you uh, how to test all at a time so we have a beautiful button over here test and when you click on that and uh, here you have the test scripts already developed by the postman so 
here I will choose the status code code is 200 so every time uh, it will search for the code 200 and if it finds it will just respond me back so the important point is whenever you click this script and when you, you when you can see it here click on the save button if you don't click it's not gonna save so I'll do the same thing for the next request status code is 200 save and get IP is and select the status code 200 here I am not going to save just to show you guys how it works then click on this arrow over here and click on run so this will open a new new uh, record new window and here you can select run jkleo test service test so here you can see two passed but other one no test because we haven't put the script over here get ip so this is how it works so let me just close this and put a test case and save this now three are saved again click on run see here i can see three passed and also in how many seconds with the success response code and also i can uh, <coughs> click on the statistics to see how it worked so this is pretty cool right so you can see all of this in detail and you can export the test results too and also I wanted to show you one more thing cool thing about the postman is that um, suppose you're developing an application in real time and you're doing your demo on the local so it's gonna be like a, a dev right dev and the next URL will be like a uh, test could be could be right so it's gonna be test over here so it, there will be like uh, as as the application moves to the higher environment from development to test test to prod we the URL over here will be changing the host name will be changing so for that you can't really every time change all the host names for each service and click on run it's gonna be a lot of overwork over uh, overhead work right so here we have a uh, beautiful feature called environments so click on the options button and click on manage environments and click on add so you can add the environments here so this environment name gonna be the name which you mentioned in the URL so let's suppose it's called dev okay the name of the environment and I have a variable called um, dev one okay and the value will be dev okay so how to use that now we have dev one right so copy this if it hard to copy just remember it so here we're gonna um, select a uh, we're gonna type two flower bases inside one another inside and type dev one so every time you execute this script so when you click on dev this is gonna show that dev1 rest underscore dev will be replaced over here do you understand what I mean so I might have another environment and this is gonna be test and the key will be test1 right and this can be the value whatever the host name actually is this this is the host name so it's gonna be and add so we have added two values dev and test environments so I'm gonna just create the variables here so make sure the key will be the same but the values changes so I'm gonna go back here and type env environment right it's environment variable env Sorry about that. Uh, A and B update. So dev test right. So here I'm gonna put E and B, and also over here. So this this acts like environment variable. So whenever I wanna test all the services in a particular environment, in a dev environment. So I'll go into the run test cases, and select the service which I want to send and here you will have the option called environment so I want to test all the all the services from the dev environment 
and with a uh, iteration of um, 10 times and with a delay of 20 milliseconds or 200 milliseconds okay or 20 milliseconds anyway this is gonna fail because I don't have the services for different environments these are just an uh, environments which I take got free from the online so I'm just showing you run test so in dev all of them passed that's strange but this is how it works and also let's try the test all the services called 10 out of 10 passed no zero failed if I'm using the postman in Mac OS but in Windows uh, you can see a beautiful uh, representation uh, you will have a show results button over here so that you can compare the results um, and also export them beautifully you can it shows any good illustration that you can easily figure out how many have gone wrong and how many succeeded so um, this is how it shows see so if you if there are some failed cases it will be shown here so we have executed 10 times <sighs> yeah this is what I want to show about the postman this really cool future you all gonna use in 12 times and uh, there are various other test codes over here see uh, set environment responsible time is less than 200 so if some services takes more than 200 milliseconds then it's gonna throw back I mean uh, it's gonna show in the results that it took more than 200 seconds so guys this is how we do the performance of the load testing in the post thanks for your patience and see you again soon with a new video thank you guys